The storms caused widespread destruction across northern Italy, ripping off roofs, causing electricity blackouts and leading to hundreds of emergency call-outs for fallen trees, many of which hit cars and property. There was severe storm damage and flooding in the northwest Liguria region, along the Italian Riviera, with the Genoa La Spezia rail line blocked temporarily after debris including beach huts blew onto the train tracks. Milan and Florence shut their city parks due to torrential rain, and a crane was blown down on top of homes in Ferrara in the Emilia Romagna region. In Venice strong winds blew chairs and umbrellas across the central St. Mark's Square, with fragments falling off the Campanile bell tower at the Basilica di S. Marco. The Civil Protection Agency prepared emergency accommodation in schools and gyms for those forced from their homes after bad weather toppled trees and tore off roofs in the area. Several regions reported serious incidents involving both people and property on Thursday. High winds sweeping through St. Mark's Square in Venice on Thursday dislodged fragments from its famous bell tower. Winds of up to 120 km per hour hit the coast, while heavy rain reportedly caused damage to power lines and the Genoa La Spezia railway. The mayor of Sestri Levante, on Liguria's coast, said homes, businesses and beach facilities had been heavily hit, and the local authority had requested a state of calamity given the extraordinary extent of the damage. Hailstones of up to 4-5 cm in diameter were reported in the Ligurian provinces of Chiavari and Sestri Levante. In Bora, near Ferrara, Emilia Romagna, a whirlwind caused the collapse of a construction crane. No one was reported injured in the incident, though the crane caused serious damage to three houses located in the area. As a precautionary measure, the mayor of Milan shut all public parks enclosed by fences and has advised residents not to walk in the proximity of trees or scaffolding of any kind. The extreme weather of the past few hours is being caused by masses of low-pressure air moving south, according to weather reports. According to the latest forecasts, extreme weather will continue to affect the north of the country until at least Friday, when the low-pressure area currently wreaking havoc across the northern regions might finally ease off. The Italian Civil Protection Department issued an amber alert for Lombardy and Veneto for Friday, August 19, whereas a lower-level yellow alert will be in place for all the other regions in the north of the country. Experts say climate change driven by human activity is boosting the intensity and frequency of extreme weather events, such as heatwaves, droughts and wildfires.